Welcome to Submerged. This is a game where you explore the ruined city that you see before you, and try to help your brother who has been wounded. As always, if you'd like to play this game for yourself, you'll find some more information in the description. Let's begin a new game. He looks really badly hurt, really bruised, and that's a nasty cut. Mm. Alright, so I need something to stop Taku's bleeding. Yeah, so I've only played for a couple minutes so far just to get used to the controls and stuff like that, and it looks like this is... Our story, um, I'm not sure if this is some sort of collectible system, or if this just gets filled in as you continue playing the game until the end, but it looks like we just were, were sleeping in the boat and we just kind of stumbled upon this flooded city. And judging by the first picture up there on the left, it looks like maybe the whole world has been flooded or something like that. And people now live above the water in you know, in, in, uh, in dwellings that are just raised above the waves. Because that's what it looks like in those, those top two pictures on the left. Looks like they lived in dwellings above the waves. Looks like there's a family. Two parents and two kids. And I think I am... Yeah, I think I'm the kid on the left. And then the smaller kid on the right would be my little brother. And obviously we got separated from our parents, so I wonder how that happened. I guess we'll probably find out. We got hurt and separated from our parents. Well, at least my little brother got hurt. City story, nothing. Creatures, nothing. Landmarks, nothing.
boat over and climb that building. Alright, so it looks like I need that fabric that's up there. As a bandage, perhaps? Yeah, this game is really pretty. I love this ruined city, and the fact that you actually get to, uh... The fact that I actually get to use this boat is super cool. And, uh... Let's see. Yeah, there's even a map. And if you look at the legend in the top left of the screen, there's supplies, uh, secret, boat upgrade. It says found zero of 60 secrets. So this is a game that I think is really going to reward exploration. And it's going to be fun boating around, trying to see what we can see. Finding secrets, or maybe finding creatures to add to my catalog here. Or landmarks. It's going to be really cool. I'm excited. I think I just saw a whale. Hello! Let's just get out of the way of that, just in case. Don't wanna... break my boat. Yeah, it looks like I just added it to my creature list. You know, I kinda wanna go follow it. It looks like... I don't know, it almost seems diseased, doesn't it? Like it has growths on it? God. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to leave now. That was a little bit too much adventure for my tastes. Let's see if I can go through here. Um... That was a bad idea. Whoop, 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 whoop. Also, it looks like there's a secret inside of that building here. Do I really want to get, go into secrets right now? No, okay. You know, my brother is bleeding to death. I should probably go <laughs> get the fabric. Yeah, let's stop the bleeding for now. And then go do secrets. I gotta say, something that you're not able to see right now, by the way, is um, I'm using a controller, an Xbox 360 controller. And this game uses vibrations wonderfully. Like, every time I hit a wave, Like right there. Every time it makes like a splash noise and I hit a wave, I can actually feel a little vibration. It's really cool. Lionesse Hotel. I haven't actually um, played to this point, so I don't actually know how the climbing mechanics work. Birdies! Looks like it's, um, looks like it's really, really simple. You just aim in the direction you want to go. So if I press up right now, it doesn't work because there's nothing to grab onto. But if I move to the left and then up, then there is something to grab onto. Simple enough. Music's wonderful too. You know that joyful music combined with looking at uh, the water and a creature coming out of it really reminds me of Beyond Good and Evil. Also, let me take a look at the creature here. Yep, so I've collected the whale creature. Bugs are those? Those aren't bees or something, are they? Ew. Ew. The freaking cloud of them. Ah, <laughs> oh, 
This game is pretty, and that music really is so good. I want to look around for secrets. Because I know there's secrets hidden everywhere. And I want them. Ooh, looks like I can climb... Oh! I can climb down there, and I think that might be a secret. Hello. Whoops. Mm-hmm. Secret 1 of 60. So what did that do? Ah, so the secrets add to the, the city's story. So I guess once I collect them all, or at least enough of them, I'll be able to see what happened to this the city, just through images. Not get back up there? I guess I can. Uh, in that case, I think I... Yeah, I get up here. anything and sun. It all makes sense now. All right, let's keep going up. a noise. Like a beeping noise. It's above me. Emergency rations. So I guess they dropped emergency rations because of the natural disaster or whatever happened. Hunter went out in the boat, caught some fish, and then they ate it. Uh, yeah, he's still... Need to find more of those crates. Yeah, he's still, like, writhing in pain. Looks like he's still feverish, feverish, or just maybe kind of unconscious. I mean, he's not even opening his eyes. He's not doing well. Oh, are those the emergency supplies right there? Like the food part? Yeah. Can see a bit of them on the ground there. 
That's cool. I wonder if more supplies get added as you find more of those emergency rations. Why? Why? Ooh, telescope to discover distant objects. Oh, cool. Oh, that's a boat upgrade, isn't it? Looks like there's another one up there. Okay, let's start exploring. Well, now that he's got some bandages on him, let's go explore this little bonus place over here. Let's go grab that upgrade. Which was... Mm, where was that? It's over here, right? Yeah, there it is. Ooh, what was that? <gasps> Hello. Where did you go? Oh my god, look at those things! There's so much life around here. Alright, let's check out that upgrade. Boost. Left button. One of 26. Wow, there's 26 uh, upgrades. Cool. Oh, I see there's a boost meter in the bottom left. Yeah, regenerating boost meter. Cool. Ah, and I can even use this from the boat. That is awesome. It's kind of disorientating to move it around so quickly. I don't know what that is. I think that's a secret. There's another one. Uh, wait a minute, where was that boat piece? Did it show up on the minimap? I have to use this to orient myself. The direction of my boat on the minimap. Or not the minimap, sorry, on the full map. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. No, it doesn't show up on the minimap, unfortunately. The boat piece. Looks like that also allows me, yep, boost for longer. Cool. Hmm. Let's go for... Let's go for the, yeah, the crate up there. The princess and the golem. Found one billboard? Ah, one landmark. <gasps> oh, 
Come back here. Look at those things fly. all those tarps. Alright, so where do I start climbing up here? It's gotta be from the other side. This building is huge. Runkholt Memorial Library. It's a very, very large library. There's a thing over there on the left side of the screen. Okay, there's monsters in the water. Stone men. Don't let them touch you. This game very specifically says that it does not have combat, though, so I'm, I'm not going to have to do any fighting. Ooh, look at these flowers. You know, this game also has postcard mode. Which basically allows you to make wallpapers. Field of flowers. Okay, not exactly the best framing. <clears throat> anyway. Keeping a lookout for any more of those creatures. <laughs> what if I look down? Oh, Jesus. Let's not look down. Ooh, bonus. But how do I get there? I think I need to go down and then to the right. There we go. Yeah, I can grab onto that little nub of a ledge with my hands. Uh, my hands, but not my feet.
Oh, there's another one. Where did you go? Oh, god, I didn't mean to do that. I probably missed things, no! But I missed things. Well, the the stone the stone people don't seem to be dangerous. I mean it was right there, and if it wanted to come at me and kill me, it could have. Can I climb the vines? No? Hmm. She's a really good climber. I'd be so terrified. There's another one. Oh my god, just look at this scene. I want to zoom in closer on it. Ah, it's as far as I can go. You're gonna jump off into the water, aren't you? Yes, you are. Mysterious little bugger. Man, this view. That for you. I can even use the, uh, the spyglass while I'm going on the line, which seems really dangerous. Uh, yeah, seriously, don't try that at home. that seem to be on its bodies look like the same growths that were on the whale. So I think there's some sort of a disease or sickness going around. And I'm guessing they were once human. the other parent, also hunting, storm, and drowned? So that's what happened to one of the parents, I guess. And yeah, you get another emergency supply bo box. Need something for him to drink. Okay, yeah, you get another emergency supply box and it actually adds it to the environment. You can actually see your, your supplies grow. That's really cool. Alright, so I've got medical supplies, um, I've got light, so now I need water. I think I've already looked from here, right? Probably nothing new. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, I just did kind of a main quest thing. Let's do some extra stuff. Let's go look for a secret. Looks like I'm missing a secret over in this direction. Not, sorry, not backwards. This direction. <gasps> Hello! There we go. I got you added to my, my, well, I've been playing The Witcher 3, so I'm going to call it the Bestiary, which is kind of a rude term. They're not beasts. Um, let's not call it a Bestiary. Added it to my, uh, my creature collage. Let's call it that. Added something else. Wasn't even trying. Oh wait, so it's back here that I missed a secret. Yeah, so I did miss a secret in one of the areas that I went to. Dang. Do I want to go all the way back up there? Um, not really. Not really. I'm okay if I'm missing one or two secrets. I'm not going to be an insane achievement hunter or whatever. Oh, whoa, I just got something else. I also wasn't even trying. Uh, let's go for this secret. There's one in this direction. This boat feels pretty cool to control. I like it. Yeah, I think that was a, I think it's a dolphin. But yeah, look at the growths on them. Same growths that are on the the stone people. I'm just gonna call them stone people. All right, there's a secret right around here. Where do I dock? I'm just going to circle around this building. Oh, there we go. I guess there's probably not that much of a point at, in uh, looking at these story pictures that I've collected until I've got a bunch more of them. Because otherwise the story's not really going to make any sense, right? Yeah. Swirly things, sun, cities, and then people floating in the air between buildings? I think is what number 8 is. Yeah, I think they invented levitation. Cool. Good for them. <laughs> Let's go for the one that's northeast of me, that secret. Northeast. Looks like it's right about here. Let me circle this building, try to find the way up. Man, this boat is taking a beating. A ladder is a nice thing to have for once. Instead of climbing on 
Dangerous, mostly broken pillars. Ah, oh, look at that. That's so cool the way the, the field of view changes when you look up and down. Or maybe it's just zooming in and out, I'm not sure, but either way, it creates this cool effect. Where, like, the more I look up... The more I look up, like this, right there. Yeah, look at that! Oh my god, that is cool! I think it is changing the field of view. Yeah, that's not just zooming in. You look forwards and look around, and it looks so tiny. But then you look up, and... Let's do it slowly. And suddenly it looks like, oh man, I've got a ways to go. Oh, I've got a long ways to go. Oh my god, am I ever going to reach the top? That is so cool. Look at the way the sky is swirling around. Almost as if I'm at, at the eye of a storm or something. Oh, I can't wait to use my eyeglass up here, it's gonna be perfect. Is the top of this thing moving? No, but you can hear it creaking. Creaking in the wind. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's get a good look around here. Can't wait to climb that. Look at that. Oh. I mean, maybe it's not climbable, but hopefully. Oh, that too. I wonder if that's climbable. I haven't found anything with my telescope so far. I thought we'd have found like 10 different things. Let's go to the tip here and try again. Here we go. Horses. Now, were there supplies up here, or was this just a secret? Looks like it's just a secret.
I want some more boat upgrades too. I want to extend my boost. Well, you know what? I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Let's go ahead and get a postcard view here. There we go. I wasn't really happy with the postcard possibilities back in the other place, so I moved locations, and I think this looks pretty good. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I can't wait to get back into this game. I'm, I'm really happy with it so far. It's really fun to explore. It's, it's got a great soundtrack. It's really beautiful. And, yeah, I just want to keep exploring it. I want to know more about what actually happened to this world, what happened to the city, and the creatures that are in it, and what happened to me and my brother and our parents. I want to know what happened, and I just want to keep climbing and looking at beautiful things. It's, it's just, it's really pleasant to play so far. I was kind of expecting it to be super depressing, and it's definitely a bit sad and melancholy, but it's actually really beautiful. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.